Today we're talking all about rebirth. It's spring, it's beautiful, everything's coming back to life. And we are here to talk about movies with that same theme. So if you're really just like are in the springy mood and you wanna, wanna have a great feel good movie, um, Francine is here to tell us all yeah. about it. Francine Broca, our entertainment correspondent. How are you? I'm doing okay. Do you see all the butterflies coming in here today? I it did. Was it, was it was amazing. It was amazing. I was on the phone with my mother and I said, I hope these are butterflies because otherwise they're locusts. And we're <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thousands of them. It was unbelievable. And what was so funny is we had them down in San Clemente last night uh -huh. as well. Mm -hmm. And my little 11 year old daughter had a big monarch butterfly on her t shirt. And she was like, we were driving around. She's like, Mom, look, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> really cute. Well, so, it's definitely spring. Yeah. It is. It's and we it love is. beautiful. Yeah. It's, and, uh, I have a list of some uh, movies that deal with rebirth, some of them reincarnation, but just all of... Kind of the same. The same thing, mm -hmm. basically. I'm going to start with um, a 1982 movie, which I dearly love. It's called Kiss Me Goodbye with Sally Phil, James Caan, and Jeff Bridges. Oh, have love you, those actors. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it, but I love mm -hmm. Sally Phil. Yeah. Okay, love well, she all. was married to James Caan, in the movie, she's married to James Caan. Okay. He died. And several years later, she meets Jeff Bridges, and they're going to get married, and she's having a hard time letting go of the past, so the spirit of James Conn comes back to help her move on with her life and start fresh. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. It's a beautiful, that's a beautiful, beautiful I know, thing. I keep telling Jeff I'm going to haunt him so he'll never get remarried. <laughs> Well, this is the that's opposite. more for the Halloween one. <laughs> now, this is the opposite because you want you yeah. zombie, just wait. <laughs> he wants her to just let go of him and mm -hmm. start over, which is okay. a really nice thing for somebody. That's beautiful. Which is fair. That is beautiful. Secondly, 1989. Now, all the most of these movies are old, so okay. most people haven't heard of them. So, um, chances are, Sybil Shepherd, Robert Downey Jr. I've heard of that one, but I don't think I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Well, he, uh, Sybil Shepherd was married to I can't remember his name. He died, and he goes to heaven, and he wants to come back to be with his wife. But he can't come back as that same age, so he's reborn as Robert Downey Jr., and he grows up, and so he's like 20-some-odd mm -hmm. years oh, wow. old when he meets Sybil Shepherd again, and he w wants to rekindle oh. their love, even though he knows that he was her husband or, you know his previous life uh -huh. but he it, has weird. the memory still he, he has the memory interesting yeah. yes does oh. he succeed just tell us does he succeed no because an angel comes down and gives him the memory eraser so that oh. she's able to move on with her life okay. and he's able to move on as who he is now okay, oh, okay. so okay it's like Everybody so needs to have their own place life. in mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. On this yeah. world, there's a place for everyone. Yeah, my haunting theme is not working out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. we got, we got okay, okay. more. The Heavenly Kid, 1985, Lewis Smith and Jason Gedrick. Mm -hmm. Now, Lewis Smith plays like a Fonzie type of character, and he gets killed. So in order to get into heaven, he has to go back. His assignment is to go help this nerdy kid. He doesn't realize at first that this nerdy kid is his own kid. Aww. that his his girlfriend was pregnant so he's trying to make this nerdy kid into a fancy type of guy to be like him and uh, things get kind of wacky it's kind of oh, funny oh i want to see that one the heavenly kid it's called the heavenly kid oh, and uh it, it's his his ticket to heaven is making this kid into somebody decent instead of just being a whiny little guy nice. oh i love it that's, That's great. great. Okay, Heart and Souls, 1993. Again, Robert Downey Jr. He has to help four people on a bus that get it, it has an accident and they're dead, but they're oh. still not. They're between worlds. Hmm. So his assign, his, they have him have to help them fulfill their last wish before they're able to go on to heaven. Oh. So kind of like a sixth sense, only yeah. mm -hmm. but um, again, going dark. Yeah. <laughs> you the light. That way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very interesting. So yeah, that's just kind of fun. Right. <laughs> and one you probably have heard of was Warren Beatty in Heaven Can Wait, yes. which oh, is a yes. remake. Yes. And he gets 
actually he's not killed, but his, his soul is taken from his body too early. So he has to find another body to get into to come back to Earth to, because he's really to not dead. To finish it out. Yeah, he's yes, not really he's dead. not dead. His soul is still alive. Uh -huh. So they have to transplant his soul into another body. Oh, so that's, that's, kind of a, that's a fun one. Yes. And we've all heard of um, 1990 ghost Patrick Swayze. That's mm -hmm. the one that mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. comes to mind. Demi Moore. Mm -hmm. I saw that one. Yes. Yeah, that one. Even, he, even I saw that one. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool at the end because he fulfills uh, his, his mission, so to speak, mm -hmm. and he says it's just wonderful going up to heaven and, and ascending into the next portion mm -hmm. of, of what he's supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, that, that final scene is beautiful. It is. It? It's, yeah. it's very moving. Mm -hmm. It really is. Um, 1970, On a Clear Day, You Can See Forever with Barbara Streisand. Oh, oh wow. Now that's a musical. That's honest. where the song comes from. Yes. Yeah. I, well, I think it was... Oh, I'm not sure what came first, okay. you know, chicken or the egg. But, What's interesting about this, I can watch this over and over again because all the yeah. songs in there are amazing. She's she. That. I've never seen that. Have yeah. you? I haven't heard of it. She goes through hypnosis and she realizes um, uh, Yves Montan. Yves Montan is the psychotherapist. He brings out past lives, mm. and it shows to him that yes, there people have lived previous lives, and in the end, you get the hint of a future life. Mm. So that's kind of cool. Really fun. But it's a musical, so that's it's really kind of fun. Oh, that okay. sounds really yeah. fun. Yeah, and any Barbara Streisand, come on, she's fabulous. Yeah. yeah. In anything. Absolutely. And we spoke about this on an, an, another episode that we did, The Reincarnation of Peter, pa Peter Proud, 1975, Michael Sarazen. This guy is awakened by the thought of some New England town. I mean, he just has this pull towards this town. Mm. And he realizes that he was actually living there in the life prior to the life he has now. Mm. And he meets the people, and he meets his former wife, and it's... Huh, it's that's, a, that's an interesting one. And this is kind of off subject, but Carl Jung, you know how everybody's talking about yeah. Jungian philosophy? Mm -hmm. He had that same experience, which led him to, like, to think about the collective conscience. Mm -hmm. And that's what made him think of it, because he had that experience where he was walking down a street, and he's like, "I've been here before," mm -hmm. and he knew exactly where this, what the, you know, where the streets were and what was coming up, and he just had this crazy experience. That happened to me. I was walking. For, I've never been to Salem, Massachusetts. We we got in there. We were driving in there. We started walking, and I said, "This is familiar. If you go to the right, there's a mm -hmm. open area." You've actually had that happen before? Yeah. I've See, had my. That. Have you ever? I've had that happen. You have had it's that before, too? It's crazy. It's kind of spooky. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It, so, totally. I knew exactly where everything was. I'd never been there. I'd never even heard of it before in mm -hmm. this life, but I got there and I could feel the chariots on mm -hmm. the stone ground. And I said to my brother, let's go this way. I think there's a big library over here. And he's like, have you been here before? I said, not oh that I know gosh. of. And there was the library, and then there was the amphitheater, and then at the marketplace. I mean, and I knew I had been there before. So we're talking like a really long time oh ago. Oh my god, It's yeah. really creepy. Yeah, I, I mean, have never had that happen to me before. One time, I, uh, this is in Mississippi, I went into a courthouse. And I said, I've been here before. This is familiar. Now, that time I didn't know what, but I, I knew I had been in mm. that building wow. before. That's super interesting. It's it is. Cool. Huh, it makes you really think about it things. It does. Huh? Well, I'm looking for a movie for tonight, so one of those is definitely a Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And you know me, I always have to have an animated film. Okay, yes. what's so your animated? It, it's from uh, 2014, When Marnie Was There. It's from Studio Ghibli. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not going to tell you much about it. Just if you Watch get a chance, okay. check it out. It's really a beautiful, when a beautiful okay. show. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Oh, and we have welcome. a lot of things to do this weekend. We do. You've do. got a long list of movies. Yes, you we have to do. Check them all out. They're so great. I'm so excited. I really. I'm going to start with Clear Day. Oh yes. I'm going to start with that mm -hmm. one. Then the Marnie one. And then I think I want to do the Sally Field one next. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, that was a good my one. mother and I watch that over and over mm, again. Wonderful. And, but Barbara Streisand, get the soundtrack too yeah. because the, mu the music in there is fabulous. Oh well, thank you very <laughs> much. Fun. Thanks so much Thanks for coming for on and always, always giving us great things to yes. brighten our day and keep and things interesting. Happy spring. Happy Thanks spring. To you. <laughs> thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>